So hi guys, this is Abdul Basit Saleem. I'm the technical consultant for cloud across the meta region. With me is Akhil Siraso, who is a technical consultant for Acronis across the meta region. And today we are going to do the Office 365 backup using Acronis Cloud Backup. So I'm handing, handing it over to Acronis, uh, to Acronis expert, our Acronis expert, Akhil. He'll proceed with that. Okay. Good evening, guys. Uh, thanks for joining this session. Uh, what we are going to cover here is that uh, we'll see how we can perform the Office 365 backup through Acronis. First of all, we'll discuss why do we need that. All right. So we'll discuss a couple of things. What are the advantages of using Acronis in order to backup Office 365? And then we'll see how we can do that. So I'll proceed with this. Uh, <clears throat> In case if you have any question, please let me know. And if in case you're unable to see the screen or if you have any question or queries or technical issues, please raise your concern. All right. So with Office, why do we need the Office 365? What it will benefit to a service provider and how they can use it and earn money from this. So, uh, with, by, by using Office 365, they can add, uh, you know, monthly recurring for the mailboxes uh, and it will, as, as you know that customer and customers are moving from Office to, to Office 365 because it's in cloud and uh, you get rid of the server maintenance and the exchange admin and everything and it's easy to use on the cloud. So, we already have an application, uh, Acronis, which is on the cloud and you already have an email application which is also on the cloud. It's better to back up that uh, either to, to, to the cloud, you can back up to Acronis Cloud, you can back up to Microsoft Azure, or in case if you want to back up locally, you can back up on-premises as well. Now with this, you can integrate with the Audin service. So what it will do, it will give you automated report of all the monthly usage by the per user, and we give you a fast and, and robust search and recovery to get the detail. Why backup of Office 365 email? Now first, it gives you peace of mind, protect your data uh, from loss due to error, hacker and, and as you know the ransomware or the viruses. Uh, regulatory compliance, now everyone knows that uh, email backup and archive is, is must uh, from the government. Of on in, in most of the company, so it gives you that regulatory compliance as well. Ownership of the data, by backing up the data on the cloud and locally for an indefinite time, it gives you the ownership of the data that whenever you want, you can recover that data. Why? What are the key features of using Office 365 backup through Acronis? Okay, backup mailboxes to local storage or the cloud, uh, you can recover, uh, granular recovery, you can restore email, attachment, calendar, contact details, you can granular recovery the items from the mailbox. You can preview mail content without recovery. So in case if you just want to view the email from the Acronis console, you can view the email instead of recovery. Uh, you can send the email right away from the recovery console. So if you want to push a, uh, instead of re restore the email, you can send that email as an attachment to another person. You can monitor the backup status of your Office 65 backup. You can always add encryption, which is AES 256 bit, while the data is transferring or while the data is at rest. You can always perform point in time mailbox recovery by performing the Office 365 backup. <clears throat> what are the benefits for service provider? As I mentioned before, you can always integrate with Audience services for your automation, easy attack sales and simplified provisioning, generate monthly recurring revenue with competitive price and attractive margins, you can, which, you can, uh, which will be helpful for you. Protect your customers' Office 365 mailboxes with fast and efficient backup services. So, those who are already uh, helping end customer moving from on-premises to cloud, for them, it's it's easy to manage their customer, existing customers. 
uh, it controls your backup data location by providing local, private, and, and public cloud destination. It ensures that the compliance by meeting data protection regulatory requirement and providing robust search and recovery. So it gives you, uh, as, as, as per the compliance, it allows you to protect the data as well as in case if you want to search uh, existing email, uh, maybe a uh, six month old, you can always search it and recover that. <coughs> as Acronis is easy, complete and safe, it gives you the same advantage by using Officer 65 backup as well. It reduces the complexity by a unified web-based data protection console. So as everything is also console is on the web, you don't need to install or, or, or utilize a server. So it, it reduces the complexity of configuring the backups of Exchange, which is generally you face when you have office when you have Exchange in on premises. Okay, uh, with uh, Acronis competitive advantage, why a customer would choose backup powered by Acronis? So generally, uh, do people come to know, uh, uh, come and ask, why do we need Acronis to in order to perform the backup of uh, uh, Office 365 or any application? It gives in increased protection with point-in-time recovery, so you can always perform a point-in-time recovery of your mailboxes and email items. Uh, it's a very simple management console, very simple to use, which we'll see later on. It enhances the recovery by recovering individual items, and a user, end user, can also recover the items. It gives you advantage of sending that email. It gives you advantage to view that email item from the backup console itself without restoring. It gives you greater control on the destination, and it gives you expand that protection by backing up servers, workstation, cloud, and mobile devices. That's why we need Acronis. Okay, now we'll discuss about, uh, generally, uh, the claim is that, you know, whenever we go and we talk about uh, Acronis and how we can back up the Office 365, people generally ask, why do we need that uh, when, when Microsoft Exchange already be doing online archiving. So the difference here is on your screen. If you talk about the cost with Acronis, it's only $1.3 per month per user. With uh, Microsoft Exchange Online Archiving, it's $3. Deleted item retention, it's indefinite. Here, you can only keep the data for 30 days. On-premises data storage included with solution, so with Microsoft Exchange online archiving, you cannot store the data locally. It should always be on the cloud. Data protection method, you can perform a point in time archiving with uh, Microsoft Exchange online. It's completely depend on data center application. When you talk about user interface, it's a web-based Acronis backup cloud user interface, which is very easy. Here, you need to use a web-based or Outlook in order to archive the emails. When you talk about preserve point in time history, it has a native backup capability uh, with Exchange Online archiving. It's on demand feature, so you need, it's a per pay. You can select multiple storage defined with Acronis. With Microsoft Exchange, the only destination would be Microsoft Azure. So you are limited with the destination. Replication backup of when you can also replicate the data from local to a third party cloud. So if you are performing the backup from Office 365 locally, you can replicate the same data to another cloud as well if you want. With Microsoft Exchange, you cannot do that. All right, now what we'll do, we'll go and see how we can configure and perform the backup of uh, Office 365, all right? If you have any question, please let us know. So in order to back up, we need to log into Acronis site. So buzz.acronis.com is the site. Now what we'll do, we'll log in. Okay. We'll log in as an end user. 
So once you log in as a, as a customer, what you need to do is you need to click on add and then if you scroll it down, you will see Office 365. You need to click on that. It will download the web application. It, you can save and run. It will run the setup and it will run the setup and add the option of Office 365. Here you can see that Microsoft Office 365. Once you add this, what you need to do is it will give you an option, it will show you all the mailboxes present in the Office 365. Once you see the Office 365 logo, you need to add the credential, the exchange, exchange admin rights in order to access all the mailboxes. Just give me a minute, we'll show you how the credential. Yeah, just give me a minute. What we'll do now, we'll create a new end customer and we'll add the, I will show you how to add the Office 65. All right, just give us a minute. 
I'll log in as a service provider and create an end customer So right now I've logged in as a as a service provider. I see end customer here. I'll create and one other end customer. So we can, yeah, okay, so the link has been sent. Now I'll just ask Abdul to reset the password so we can log in to the account. So the password has been set now. Now we have logged in to the console. Now we we'll just run the setup. Let me just run the setup from here. I'll, I'll close this one. Uh, before that, I'll open this location so we can run the setup. And I'll log out from this console. Right. Let's run the setup now. Mm. Yes. So the installation will takes a couple of minutes. Uh, this needs to be installed on on. On all the workstation, generally, why? Because the end customer can can recover the data. That's why. So, Uh, just give us a couple of minutes more. We'll, what we'll do, we'll uninstall this. We'll uninstall the existing one because it's already been registered with that. So it's better to uninstall and reinstall it so we can show you properly how it's going to work. Uh, 
Uh, so the question is, is there any deployment tool for this app? Uh, there's no deployment tool, but it's an MSI package, so which you can use with the Windows deployment and deploy it on multiple workstations. You can do that. All right, great. We'll install it now. Once again, we'll run the setup. Yes. Yes, you can buy Acronis licenses. We are the authorized distributor. We are the worldwide authorized distributor for Acronis. So you can always buy the licenses with us. This will take a couple of minutes to install. Thanks for your patience. Meanwhile, we'll answer the questions. Yes, so so with the Cronus, as, as I mentioned, we have a worldwide deal, so we provide, uh, no, we are, we are open for all the answers. You can ask as many as you want. So uh, we have a worldwide deal with the uh, Acronis in Gram Micro Hash. Uh, so we, we, we provide license for on-premises as well as on the cloud. So the cloud model is completely different. It's, uh, uh, it's the contract base where you have the minimum, uh, there's a minimum payment you need to pay for which is $250. There is a separate uh, webinar for that which we conduct which gives you the information about uh, how we can onboard as a service provider and sell this to the end user. And then we have another model which is on-premises solution where a customer does not want to uh, move it to the cloud or uh, they do not want to go through the service provider. They want to have the perpetual and subscription licenses. So yes, we do have that as well. But in that uh, end user, if he, if he wants, he can back up the data to Acronis Cloud by, pro by purchasing the cloud storage. That he can do. Uh, for the evaluation, uh, if you want to try the uh, on-premises solution, you can try this. Uh, for the for the cloud as a service provider trial period, uh, we are still in the process to get that access for us. Uh, once we have that, we'll we'll be able to share with the with the partner and we'll give them a trial period uh, to test the product. But if you want to test the Acronis product by yourself. You can go to the Acronis site and download the trial period. It's the same. The console is same for Acronis Backup 12 and Acronis Backup Cloud. It's the same console. Uh, if you go to the uh, which will cost. Uh, okay, I'll answer the question. So if you go to the Acronis site, you will uh, you can download the application Acronis Backup 12. In that, uh, in the trial period, you have two options. One is to use the application on the Acronis Cloud, and the second option is to install it on the on-premises. So you can go with the cloud subscription uh, uh, trial and use 250 GB of Acronis Cloud to perform the backup. You can do that. Now, second question is, which will cost 1.3 user per month? So that's the service provider model uh, will cost you that. So that service provider model comes in a commitment that every month uh, you have to commit a minimum amount uh, to Ingram Micro uh, as a contract. So it will, the minimum commitment is $250 in which if you go to Acronis Cloud, you get two terabyte. 
if you go to uh, a different cloud maybe like Azure or if you have your own data center then in $250 you get 4 terabyte of storage in which you can unlimited you can back up unlimited devices unlimited servers unlimited workstation you can back up office 365 however the office 65 licensing is per user Still running. So guys, meanwhile uh, this installation is done, let me quickly show you our events page so that you can register over there and get automated invites for the future trainings. Every alternate Tuesday we have a sales, uh, every alternate Tuesday we have a technical training and every alternate Wednesday is a sales training. Like this Tuesday, today is a technical training for the Synchronous Backup for Office 365 and next Wednesday would be a sales training. So you can go to imcloud.me slash events and over here you can see the complete schedule over here. This is for the sales, this is for the technical and if you go over here you need to get invited there's some technical issue over the get, in, get invited tab, I'll get it fixed. So in short you can find all the trainings that are in our schedule are over here.
So guys, so guys, meanwhile it gets installed. Uh, uh, do you have any other question? Please feel free to ask us the questions if you have any. So the downloading is done. Now I should do the installation. It will take just a couple of moments, and the installation will be done. All right, great. So the installation has completed. Now we'll close this and open the setup. Switch. Okay. Log out. Yeah, due to some internet issue um, we were facing before while we were trying to install the application, it couldn't register uh, the information to the Acronis console. So we are trying to, to run the setup again. So there was a question that do we back up OneDrive? Uh, not as of now. Uh, we only back up Office 365 and emails items, not the OneDrive. Not the OneDrive and also not the SharePoint. Only the emails. SharePoint is an application, yes. SharePoint is an application we can take the backup? Yes. Oh, okay. SharePoint is an application we back up we SQL, we back up SQL, Exchange. In Office 365, SharePoint is also included just like OneDrive. The one which is included in Office 365? No, not as of now, yeah. that one. So for Office 365, only emails? Like only this. emails as of now, yes. I believe it's, in the, uh, it's yes. already scheduled in the next few release, releases for the SharePoint and OneDrive backup of Office 365. Yes, in the next updates and few, few and maybe next year, we'll have those included into the solution. We have another, I think we have another question over here.
Yes, it works with any Office 365 client. It can be exchanged online, plan one, plan two, business, business essential, premier, E3, E5, E3. Whatever plan of Office 365, it works with it because in the end, all the it's taking the backup of basically your exchange online. So obviously, uh, there is a business plan which does not uh, include emails. Obviously, it won't take the backup of that business plan of Office 365. So all the plans of Office 365, those have emails included in them that is exchanged online. Economist will take the backup of those. Okay, that's strange. What we can do is we'll confirm it quickly for you and we'll get back to you for that. That, that won't be an issue, not a problem. Because as per our understanding or as per our testings, it is like that, that uh, it can take the backup of any Office 365 plan which includes exchange on and basically which includes emails. But surely we can confirm it and get back to you. So we can see that Office 365 has been added here. Now what do we need to do is we need to put a credential. As you can see, it should be the global administrator of Office 365. Now I'll give you a couple of more uh, information. The account which uh, you're trying to add here should be the administrator, Exchange Administration Plus. It should have application impersonation right on Exchange Office 365. Also, it should be the part of organization management. So my application impersonation means the user for which uh, which has the SSI privilege. So the advantage of SSI privilege is that and with that it, uh, the users don't need to enter the password or the admin doesn't need to enter the password for each user. They can have the password and the admin with the SSI privilege can automatically access the application that is exchange on that and of the users for this backup uh, facility or this backup feature. But keep in mind that with that permission, admin won't be able to access any email of the users. So there isn't any security issue, nothing like that. It's just that in order to do the backup so that you don't have to enter the password manually for each user or separately for each user, SSI privilege or application privilege uh, should be assigned to the admin. Or otherwise, uh, it won't let you log in into it. We have already set up uh, an, uh, an Office 365 integrated with Acronis just to save the time. And as you can see that over here it asks for the username and password. We already have an account which is 
which has already included the, these credentials into the uh, Acronis uh, portal. So in this uh, account, the uh, our Ingram Micro Office 365 is account is uh, already added as a device over here. As you can see that my name is over there, and then there are a couple of other people names over there. And now you can configure and run the backup. So once you add the account, uh, it will take a couple of minutes to show you all the mailboxes because it goes in and lists out all the mailboxes and it shows you. Now you can see all the mailboxes. You can select individually and perform the backup or you can select multiples from here and perform the backup. Yes, uh, this is because right. uh, because it needs some time to get synchronized with Office 365 to populate all the details over here in, in the Acronis uh, portal. Now there are two ways to view the mailboxes. One is the list view and second is grid view. If you click here it will show you detailed information uh, and you can scroll down and see all the mailboxes. Personally, I like the list view. List view because it, you can see all the mailboxes here. <laughs> exactly. Now, what we'll do, we'll show you how you can run the backup and configure the backup. It's pretty simple. Just click on the mailbox you want to backup, or you can click on the checkbox and select all mailboxes in one shot. Click on backup and add backup plan. And click on create new where you want to backup so you already know that you have option to backup locally and network folder as well as on the cloud we are performing the backup on the cloud to show you how it will work uh, we can define the retention as you want depending on the storage requirement you have you can define how long you want to keep the data so you have two options one is keep data infinitely or you have by number of copies you can define the number of copies here and if you want to enable the encryption, you can enable the encryption. Once you enable the encryption, you need to put the passphrase here. And just click on apply. It's pretty simple. It's basically like next, 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 yeah. and your backup will be working. And this is the backup which we have configured recently, this one. I'll just click on run now, and we'll run it. So basically that's how you can take the backup and in the next session that we, uh, we are going to schedule in, the, in, in this quarter also we will tell you how to restore the backup already taken with Acronis Cloud Backup so that you will know how to so that you will know how to do the backup how, how we can how, sorry how to restore the uh, data that's already been backup how to restore the mailboxes that are, that are already been backed up. So, in my opinion, I can just pretty much cool on a device or pretty much cool uh, appliance or software that Acronis is. It's pretty much simple to do the backup. It's straightforward. The configurations are not much complex. In fact, they are not complex at all if you know what you are doing. And in order to give a, uh, get a hands-on experience, I would suggest you to go to Acronis.com and try the Acronis backup trial, trial period and try to backup on the cloud. You can perform local backup as well, you can backup workstation, you can backup Mac devices, you can backup the mobile devices as well and try to backup on the cloud. You will get 250 GB cloud storage free. Try to backup C. The other option is you have the option to choose the destination as well. So try to perform the backup, get a hands-on experience, and when we have next time, when we have the session where we'll show you how to recover, you have more questions uh, about the product, and we will be happy to to answer all of those. So uh, let's move on to question answer session. So we have a question over here, Akhil. Uh, the question is, can we do selective backup like sent items or inbox, I exit, etc. All right. So. Uh, 
Not as of now. The reason is uh, it's better to back up the entire mailbox as as per the presentation we see it's a compliance. However, you have the option to recover the data uh, selective, selective items. So you can select individual item and perform the recovery. So it's, it's more towards the recovery when you need a selected items. So while performing the backup, it's better to backup entire mailbox and while recovering you can recover the data which is specifically you want. So because it's uh, why it is like that because you never know which uh, data you might be needed from the uh, from the mailbox in question for example if if an employee is leaving the company and you just uh, backs up the inbox item and after that you would remove the account of office receipt you got the mailbox account you delete the uh, you delete the mailbox account and after a month or two you need the sent items also then you don't have its backup see that's how it can be useful to uh, that's why basically all not only Acron is all the software providers, the backup software providers, they have enforced that to do the backup of the whole mailbox. But you can do uh, you can restore the data selectively by even by not by the folders, by selecting the email itself. You can select, uh, restore a particular email also. Yes. Any other questions, guys? A silent is always a silent always means that you guys understand everything. <laughs> so if you guys are understanding everything, it means that we are going to see huge sales of Acronis Cloud Backup for Office 365. If you guys are already uh, dealing with Office 365, this is the best way to pitch to the end customer because it gives you the privilege to back up the data locally as well as to a different cloud where you can go to Azure and Acronis Cloud. So uh, once again, uh, just inform the customer about it. Tell them the difference between uh, email archiving because though you know, Microsoft says that you don't need to back up the application, but as for the compliance, it's required. So we need to educate the end customer. Yeah, the basic example for the need of the back email backup is that a user, can, a user might accidentally or intentionally delete the email. Microsoft won't or provide you any facility of that. Obviously, yes, in the plans, I like uh, Exchange on and Pen2 or E5, there is a, a thing called legal holding, but not every company can afford that because it's quite an expensive plan to to get that. I think almost like 40 something dollars to buy the E5 or E7 plan with, that has this feature, legal holding feature. With, with over here, that's as compared to that, much cheaper solution. You only have to pay one amount every month per user, and you, you are getting limitless retention, you are getting limit, limitless storage for the backup. So I believe uh, it's really a good solution too and it's really an upsell product or cross-sell in fact a cross-sell product for Office 365. So guys uh, if there isn't any other question uh, we will conclude the session and, and if you guys have any, any, any question afterwards just feel free to contact us anytime and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks, thanks for your time once again. Thanks everyone, thank you for the time.